Right guys, so let's now uh, get stuck back into another set of finance questions. These ones are really referring to uh, the uh, January 2018 paper. So you may want to see if you can get your hands on uh, this paper. Now, um, the first question that we've got here, number nine, uh, is to calculate the variable cost of each large beanbag chair. So it's given us this little table of information that we've got here. Now we can see that there's materials per bag of 275 and there's a filling per bag of 350. So we've obviously got to factor that in as well. Uh, so uh, yeah, it says that she pays her uh, employee a weekly wage of 190 pounds for 20 hours of work. Each bean beanbag uh, chair takes 30 minutes to complete. She has annual fixed cost of uh, 3,780 pounds. So therefore, let's uh, just get stuck into this. We got 275 plus the 3.5 of course there. So 275 plus three pound 50. We can also see that based on this, she's uh, paying that 190 pounds. So let's uh, use this information, 190 uh, divided by the 20 hours of work here. Uh, so uh, we can see that that's what nine pound 50 per hour. Uh, so based on that, it's saying that each beanbag chair takes 30 minutes to make. So if we divide that by two for half an hour, we can see that we're also going to need to add on £4.75 to work out the full variable cost here. So we got £4.75 plus 3.5 plus 2.75 equals £11. So there's our answer. Okay, that's looking all right. So next question, uh, what have we got? Arabella has a weekly production target of 36 beanbag chairs. Calculate the margin of safety for the f for the year. Okay, so notice that saying for the year. Now that's given us a weekly amount. Helpfully, they've put it in bold to encourage you to notice this, but it just sh shows really why it's so important to read the questions really carefully. So let's take a look. So uh, we can see that the actual selling price is what, 18 pounds. Um, now, so we've got a price of 18 pounds. We can then deduct 11 pounds. Okay, we've got a fixed cost of uh, how much per week? Oh, it's annual fixed cost 3,780. So, I've run through uh, some of the figures we need, the fixed cost divided by the price minus the variable cost to actually work out the break even point here. So let's just work that through. 3780 uh, divided by seven, because that's our unit contribution. So we can see out of this, we need 540 units to be made um, over the course of the year to uh, to break even or now the question is then right really saying about the margin of safety so remember the actual output minus the break even point is the margin of safety so what's the potential output well it's 36 multiplied through by 52 weeks in a year of course so therefore we've got 1872 minus 540 uh, so there it is uh, and if we just put that through, then we can see it 1,332, okay? So that is our uh, margin of safety for the entire year. Okay, great stuff. Now it's just worth noting in relation to these two questions, uh, the mark scheme gives you credit according to whether you're looking at wages as a uh, variable cost as I have here, or whether you're looking at wages as a fixed cost. So therefore, it's acceptable uh, to actually have 11 pounds or alternatively 625. I've got a copy of the mark scheme that I've um, just uh, grabbed here just to show you. 
so it is giving you credit because it, it appreciates that it's been slightly ambiguous in terms of uh, the concepts there, okay? Uh, likewise, with the second question, 9B, you can also consider wages as a fixed cost, okay? Right, looking good. Let's move it along.